you know what? I think I think before it happened, I never really thought too much of what it would be like or what it should be like, anything like that. Um, and all, all the changes kind of happened in little progressions. You know, it wasn't just like an all of a sudden, like light switch type change of like, this is your life now. Um, and, you know, I kind of I have to remind myself a lot of times, too, of like, you know, people people see the highlight reel. Um, it's very rare that someone, someone will post or like show the world the non glamorous stuff, like the stuff that isn't sexy. Um, the only posts that go up are the, the videos of PRs going up and the videos of when things are going well and when things are looking good, it's no one posts up the video of like, Oh man, you know, I have all these tears on my hands and I'm missing 245 snatches over here and like <laughs> no one wants to see that shit uh, you know I, I get a lot of messages of, you know like people see the footage of the games you know see the footage of the 2016 games and they're like oh that's so cool I'm like you're looking at a five day window of my entire year like that is just like a flash in the pan. This is good content. It's really good. Um, we're not doing we're not doing too much today. Um, just uh, one quick workout. I don't know. No bar, no barbells or anything like that. Just kind of put the pedal down, high intensity, low impact stuff. Um, and then I'll I'll squat tonight. But that's basically it. You know, not not too much going on. Easy day. Body feels good, you know. Um, kind of take these days of like. You know, total workout time is like I could be in and out of the gym in an hour. Uh, so you know, try to take a lot of that extra time that I don't usually have during the day. You know, just do body work. You know, stretch, roll out. Um, I don't know, kind of fix any of the aches and pains that I've kind of accumulated over the last couple of weeks. Make sure that next week, going into training, you know, I'm feeling healthy, 100%. No, no aches and pains. Just. Feeling good. When I'm done with CrossFit, you know, I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to try to stretch out my career longer, longer than I should. You know, uh, I don't want to stay in the game 
longer than I longer than I should. You know, um, I want to keep my health. I want to I want to leave the sport still loving it. You know, uh, like I did Olympic weightlifting for ten years, and and when I left the sport, I hated it. And you know, it kind of sucks because you know what? I, I have a lot of I had a lot of great friends. Um, that, that I met over the years, you know, like I grew up with them, you know. Started competing when I was 12 years old and had the same guys at every competition and like we would train together, we'd get together in the off season. And uh, I remember for a long time after, after I finished weightlifting and it was, I mean, it was, it was really bad on my part that because of my resentment against weightlifting, I didn't want to hear from them. I didn't want to see them because it just brought up my bad blood. Um, whether that was jealousy, envy, um, and just kind of disappointed in the way things worked out for me. Um, so, you know, I've kind of reached back out and kind of rekindled a lot of those friendships, but, you know, at the time it just wasn't, wasn't happy for me. So, you know, the day that I decided to stop competing in CrossFit, you know, uh, I want to make sure that I'm still happy, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to leave any bad blood, you know.